Every story has a beginning and an end. trying to get out there. Maury Rogers with an outstanding block on Wade to allow it to free it up to the corner for Lawrence to be able to get in for that touchdown. Seen catches in the two previous games. He was hot. Trying to bring pressure on Fields. Looking to throw on first down. Checks it down to Sermon who's got space and a first down and is still running. Hurling man out of bounds inside the Clemson 35. Sneaks out of the backfield, and he checks it down. Nobody picks Sermon up. They brought Skowski on a blitz. Nice job by the offensive line picking him up. And now you got Trey Sermon out in space, much like we Ooh. talk about Travis Etienne. Nice. He did that. He did that in a Big Ten championship game. He did, he's got elevation. He tried it the first time and got tackled. The second time, he just took it up a knock. Now he's got the ball again. Running left. Sermon in the clear. Foot race. Touchdown, Ohio State. Buckeyes answer quickly of left guard, 55 Clemson struggling to get lined up. Ohio State goes fast after the last play. Nobody there. The alley opens up on that stretch play. You can see Clemson not in position, unlike them, not getting lined up. And just waltzes in. Travis Etienne finds the end zone, and the Tigers are back on top. Respect that. Josh Myers, Wyatt Davis, for that interior line. Fields from the pocket, launches downfield, and a diving catch is made. Tremendous ball skills. He against Kendrick, one-on-one. -on -one. He gets behind him. Great job off of the play action. Move the safety to the middle. Fields 
to the pocket, fires to the end zone, into traffic, caught for a touchdown by Luke Farrell. Didn't have a catch the last three games. It's a Northwestern game, kind of a quiet season for a five-star. Fields thinks that the defense and rolls and has some yardage and still running. Diving through defenders, most people have good years. You've got to be careful with that mindset, though, don't you? Drops back, and the man wide open, it's a record. Two touchdowns for the Buckeyes' tight ends tonight. He's going to hide. He's waiting with the action. Roll, tail just kind of hides, waits for everybody to move over. Nobody picks him up. About the execution, what you're asking him to do. And bursting to the middle of Sermon, rumbling into the secondary, breaking tackles, stiff arm, and is finally corralled down near the 25 by Xander. Barrel from the right, worked back to the left. Boom, that block right there allows him to get underneath in that inside zone play. This is the part of Trey Sermon that people underestimate. That stiff arm. Here they come. Oh, dropped out. Third and 13, Fields does have time. And now takes off, makes a cut. It's a hard hit by Skowski. Knocks it down. Two yards short, and Fields is still down. Looks like Justin's okay. That was a big hit. David Alvarez will be on the phone here. I think he be as the Big 12 replay official. That's a classic, classic crown and helmet. Yeah, and it doesn't matter when you use the crown or the helmet. It doesn't matter when you go high. After further review, was confirmed for targeting. Penalty will be half the difference of the goal and an automatic first down. Number 47 is disqualified. This is crucial now. The Buckeyes start to stretch this seven point lead. Fields on the run. Launches for the end zone. Coming back. Hard for a touchdown by Olave. Gets up. Finds Olave. He eludes Jared Jones. And then limps to the sideline. But it's Ohio State. Up by a couple of scores now as we approach halftime. Fields delivers a strike and burst the middle. It's Rucker. And the tight end bangs down inside the 15 yard line. He spread it around 15 completions, seven different receivers. Makes it tough on the defense. From the pocket, a strike across the middle. Caught, touchdown. Rucker again. What a huge night for the tight end. And take the defender right over the middle of the field with him. Now Rucker kind of gives an outside look. I'm telling you, he's like a receiver. Third and eight. Up big. And some throw. That's a mistake. And an interception by Mike Jones. Fields forced that one into traffic. And it's the first takeaway for the Tiger defense. But needed. And the offseason amazing to be playing football this season. Play action. Lawrence launches and has Powell wide open with a shove way out of the way. Nice play of the drive. Lawrence flips it into play. Powell stretches for the pylon. Touchdown! And the Tigers begin to chip away. Powell beating Sean Wade a couple times on that drive. An answer to be able to come up with the interception and then drive, put a drive together like that. Again, there's that soft coverage. So let really Chris on this entire drive. Has time, launches downfield, it's Olave, he's got a touchdown, Ohio State! The play took a while, I mean, the offensive line does a good job, look how he gets behind Nolan Turner, I don't know if they thought he could make that throw, Chris, watch Nolan Turner, the back end of this, right at the 50 yard line, kind of working towards the middle, he takes that crossing route, opens it up for the post, and then Justin Fields shows you the arm strength and the accuracy to make that throw where he gets behind Kendrick and Turner. Turner's looking to strike back quickly. Lawrence looking to run all the way. And he'll be dragged down behind the line of scrimmage by Togiai. And the ball's on the ground. Ohio State say it's a turnover. No signal yet. I think Pascal Garrett, 92, gets in there. They're ripping in the ball right now. Watch how, watch how Haskell here smartly, wisely here, picks up the ball, fights for it anyway. Was he losing control already before the knee went down? That'll be what the replay right. officials look at here. Changes the ball from the left hand. He comes out there. Under further review, recovered by the defense. The run stop for final seconds of the quarter. Can they get the snap off? They do. Lawrence on the pitch. He 
Deanna's hammered right behind the line by Justin Hilliard. And the Buckeye defense punctuates the third quarter with another big tackle for loss. You know, people talking about him this year, they didn't deserve it. The way they lost last year, there's no way he's coming out. Sermon breaks free, gets the corner and scoots out of bounds. It's close. They got 14 minutes to protect this lead. Looking to add to it. Fields down the field. Gone for a touchdown! Jamison Williams is out of really special tonight. See Nolan Turner, both safeties. I talked about Venables needing to roll the dice a bit, being aggressive. That means leaving those corners on islands. It's got ETN going. Mari Rogers has been bottled up on this Buckeye defense. And Long under pressure again. Delivers a strike. Powell breaks free. Powell knifing down and scoring. So they convert third and 16 into a touchdown to keep some hope alive here. Right, watch him work against Sean Wade. He turns it right there. And then he throws the ball before his head's even turned to a spot. That ran right through Notre Dame the last game. Again, Lawrence pressure. Flings the ball to the turf. Dangerous throw. Tyreek Smith got there in a hurry. And Ohio State makes a stand. And the Buckeyes can feel it now. And your final flicker of hope for Lawrence and the Tigers. Throws off the back foot to the end zone. And it's intercepted on the care. It's seven banks. No doubt about it. Ball actually gets through. It, it gets into the hands, I think, of Cornell Powell. But it was 12, the freshman, Ransom, that knocks that ball loose. It's Amari Rogers. He knocks that ball loose. Williamson helps out. He actually dislodges it. And there's Banks with his eyes up. Very few Ohio State fans able to witness this. Get about half of the 3,000 tickets. Everyone here tonight on their side will savor this memory forever, as will the players.